Welcome back to Metroid Prime! God, somebody painted angry eyebrows on Samus since we've last been here. Metroid Prime! Incoming scan data. It's probably the same thing we had earlier. Wait, were these full originally? With these Metroids? Uh, yeah, probably. Oh. Unique Phazon. I think it's that Omega Pirate that they were talking about. And of course. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, of course. Nat naturally, but that's okay. It's okay. Natch. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I think that's just in the Metroid's DNA. It's like, if alone, if C person alone, break out of holding cell. Really, they're just in there to be polite. Uh, I can see that. By the way, it got dark. It did get dark. Like, both in tone and also in actual lighting. Oh, there, there we go. It's brightening up a little the bit. Brightness. Oh, oh no. get, get, get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, no, 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 wait, 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 this looks really bad. Yeah, just uh, just get, oh, just kind of creep over and uh, and scan it real quick, huh? This is uh, oh, the Omega Pirate, most powerful of the elite pirate forces. Time to kill it. Become invisible to normal sight. Vulnerable when cloaked, as as all energy is drawn from defense systems. By exposing itself to Phazon, it can regenerate damaged tissue and organs. Ooh. It can heal on the Phazon. There's exposed Phazon here. Well, it better not break out, because if it breaks out, we're gonna have a really tough boss fight on our hands. And break out. I'm not gonna do that though because oh, sh oh that's a cutscene that, that can't be good. And break out. He, he might just make a mean face at us. That's all. N and nothing but a mean face. That's it. It's not gonna break out. It's not gonna do it. Break out! Oh no! All right, fine. Okay. <laughs> Time to fight the giant Omega Pirate, the last of the pirates. He's man. covered in phase on. Oh, that's disgusting. So what you gotta do is he, he you know smashes down like you know the regular elite pirates do, but because he's Omega, he he. he is only vulnerable in these little phazon pockets. Yo. You gotta bust them up with some missiles and some well-timed, uh... Ow, God. Things. And, he, and, he, and he's a... He's a swipey boy. He's yeah, a very swipey boy. Ah, next button. Why? <laughs> X button, what does it do? Uh, ah. Yeah, yeah, get, get out. No, oh, stop God. it. Stop hurting me. Oh, did you actually break one of his pustules? Yeah, you did. Yeah. 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 It's gotta do it at the right moment. Usually when he slams down like that is a good time. See, you got the strats. Yeah. Ew. Okay, that one. Shoulders are a bit tougher because, you know, he, he also has the, you know, the, uh, give me your power. Missiles probably are the best there, but, you know, if you had time it just right, get a good angle. God, he is, like, really going for the, for the energy suck. Well, it's not all the hell he has. Seriously, and just making you walk into open phase on. He's smart, but he's not going to live very much. He's not going to live for long. Oh, good job. Good job. Okay, not bad, not bad. Mm -hmm. We're doing this. Easy, easy, easy every time. Yeah. Wow, what a bitch. Uh, except you're not doing any damage. So then he turns invisible. Are you sure? He's like, kind of... Oh, okay, now he's gone. Okay. Then, uh... Sure. Or these guys show up, take him out quickly. Then he should show up... Somewhere. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where you at, buddy? Extra. Oh, uh, wait. hello? Yep. Uh, there hello? he is. Ah, there you Here's are. Here's where he's vulnerable. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Alright, alright! Awesome! Him. Easy. It takes a set amount of damage, though. Oh, this is a... This is a boss fight in phases. Yeah, it's a boss fight in phases. With phase, phase on. Phase on! Yeah! <laughs> wait, is he gaining health back? No. Oh, okay. Oh, God, this fight's gonna take forever. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it, it is. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's, it's just by design. All I can do is apologize and, like, sniffle a little. <laughs> <laughs> so I wonder if this boss fight was, quote-unquote, improved in later releases. Like, you know how sometimes bosses can entirely change from the first version? Well, there's, like, a whole set of, like, you know, changes here. Let me see if I can... Look from, the, uh, from the Wii version? And the, and the re-releases. Oh, okay, so everything after 1.0. Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious if anything has been adjusted. Like, maybe he doesn't have this phase again? Or maybe he has less of the pustules that you have to get rid of? Or something like that? So, we got, like, an invisible wall placed over the runic gate at the top of the Arboretum in Chozo Ruins at version 1.01. .01. Okay. 
minor tweaks to the Thardis battle, and particle effects, like some graphical things. Collision detection changes. Ooh, okay. A lot of the credits changes. Did they get rid of somebody who worked on the game, or...? Oh, no, just, uh, someone should have put an E at the end of Anne. Oh, it's a fix. Yes, it's a fix. Oh, okay. Not, not a removal, but a, a, a fixture. Man, it kind of feels weird to say that, you know, games had re-releases to fix the issues instead of online patches. The thing is, the, the non-patch days weren't that long ago. No, they weren't. Like, games had to be complete the first time. Otherwise, you just you just have a shit game. And everybody would know it. So, uh, yeah, man, the release it now, patch it later formula kind of fucking sucks these days. I think it, it, it depends. Like, re release it now, fix it later is obviously bad. If it's broken first, no way you can expect people to pay 180 bucks for that, for the digital exhibition and all that. Yeah. But if they... If they give you a game and they just add more stuff to it, well, that's not fix it later. That's add more stuff later. Mm hmm? Like, uh, this latest Mario Golf. People hated this new Mario Golf because, oh, there's hardly anything in it. Then they kept adding courses and kept adding characters. And now it's a pretty feature-complete, jam-packed golf game, I'd say. I guess people, God, burning! I guess people are just used to mainly Nintendo releasing something with oodles of content and not needing to add more to it later. I think this whole started with the Assassin's Creed Unity debacle. I thought it was just because Unity was a broken piece of trash. Exactly. It was literally fix it now, fi or just release it now, fix it later. Because they had these glaring, awful, terrible bugs. Online, offline, single player, multiplayer. Just bugs up the ass. Visual glitches, the terrible faces. I, I miss those faces so much. And that just, be that just became the norm. Well, it probably also doesn't help that Skyrim actually made fun of the fact that it had so many glitches. And I was like, I, I've heard our games have a couple glitches. It's like, yeah, fix them, please. Actually, you can keep some of them, because some of them are funny. Like, you just got like enough away. It. Some of the really big ones have been fixed, though. Yeah, if, if you have a game-breaking bug, please fix it. Don't, like, laugh that off. Like there, there, There's one glitch that baffled me for a long time when I first started playing Skyrim. It's called the Companion's Morning Glitch. <laughs> what? The Companion's Morning Glitch. I don't mean morning as in, you know, hey, br bright and early. I mean morning as in, yeah, oh, yeah, no. He's like, yeah, oh, man. So the, 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 the werewolf hunters that you fight in the Companion's quest line yeah. attack their base in, in uh, Windhelm. Okay. And the characters are thrown around and they have, like, you know, they're... they're Morning, some of them are dead there. Some of your allies got killed in the process. It's a whole scene. You go down to one place and says, I can't believe this happened. You need to go down to this one place and kill this enemies in order to... It's, yeah, typical Skyrim yeah. quest fair. I have to go down here. But the thing is, I don't... The flag for the, uh... For the dungeon wasn't triggered correctly. So... Oh my. What you have to do... Before you get to that point in the quest line, you have to find a specific dungeon, clear it, and then wait long enough oh, God. for it to come back. That sucks. For, for, like, for, for the enemies to respawn in, in that dungeon. They fixed it in the, in the latest re-releases, though, so... Good, good. A lot of things got fixed. The, See, one, the, the, the one that Violet had was in, like, the, the last DLC, when you go to fight, to fight the this last boss in this dungeon, mm -hmm. it just hard crashes. Oh, shit! It's just, you're going along and frozen! Utterly frozen, can't hit home button, can't do nothing. This is on the PS3 version. God damn. So when we got the PS4 version, the uh, special edition or whatever, That's where, been they, they fix a lot of the stuff. Yeah, it was fixed, but we did it early enough. And even then, when we got to that point, the, the frame rate chugged to like, tw to like 10. <laughs> what the it, fuck are they trying to load? It really did not like being here. Yeah, it's seriously. Like, don't let Holy this crap! Fight because the, the the engine they use is like really, really, really old. Yeah. Really old. I think that's still the Fallout Three engine. It's still the Oblit. That's still the Morrowind engine. Oh fuck! That's two generations ago, guys. So they won't. They won't fix it because it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's working. 
Meanwhile, Capcom's gone through two engines already. And it is a beautiful engine. And that guy was floating for a little bit. See, I remember the days of... You know, I've, I've mentioned that people expect Nintendo and quite a few companies to release their game perfect first. And then the whole Skyward Sword Channel thing. What? I still remember that like it was yesterday. It was a game-breaking bug in Skyward Sword. I, I, I caught a couple of them, yeah. And they had to release a separate channel on the Wii to fix it. Because there were no online patches during yeah. that generation of Nintendo's consoles. You guys are right. Skyward Sword, the best game. It's, it's the best. Clearly. I hate Skyward Sword. And then the Breath of the Wild came out. And everything was right again. Everything was right again. I love when they uh, when they revealed a Skyward Sword HD. <laughs> and the overwhelming, huh? And and Adriana was like, "Now, okay, listen. Oh. I mean, hear me out. Okay, like I know, but listen but, here, but okay? seriously. Like like really, just, Nintendo, just, just, just listen. Miyamoto really likes the new form of Zelda he made and said, "Can you please make it HD and put it on the Switch?" How Numa. It was really important in the development. So, see, look, the, the the stamina thing. Breath of the Wild had stamina. It's because of it's because of Skyward Sword, R right? Right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It was a brand new direction. It's a, it's it's it, hey, it's the beginning of the story. It's the beginning of the story. It's it, yeah, right? You know. See, it's good, guys. Please buy it. I didn't. It's it's. I can't wait until Breath of the Wild Two is called. Uh, the Dawn of Demise, or something like that. Really tie it into Skyward Sword, and then make probably the greatest sequel ever made. It's the Death of the Mild. <laughs> D-O-T-D. Oh wait, de D-O-T-M. Death of the Mild, there we go. Link puts his hair up in like a flat top, and he tattoos the American flag on each of his biceps. The Breath of the Guile. <laughs> dun, 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 and then it cuts <laughs> off. There we go. Uh, did we do it? Are you dead? Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, dear. oh, God, no! Ah! Oh, God, go! Oh, no! And that is how Lord. we get our phase on ah! oh, oh, God! Fight through oh, the pain, bad, Sam. Bad. Very bad, very Fight bad. Fight through the pain. Oh! Ah. Oh, that does not feel good, but it looks so sweet! That is a sick ass suit. We got the phase on suit. suit. Now, yeah. Holy god. We have been infused with pure phase on. So now we can go into open pits of phase on and not get hurt. At all. At all. So that giant Omega Pirate falling on Samus. Yes. What do you call that? Was that um, an Omega Pirate? No, I mean this is the the act of him falling on her and then creating a brand new suit out of it because of all the phase on corruption. See, here here's what I think happened. Lay it on me, because I'm still trying to figure that out. Gonna get gonna get my uh, science cap on here and please, see and see what do. happened. You know, the the, the Chozo uh, artifacts have always been kind of little little uh, magical science, you know. Well, they have adaptive quality. Dang it, what? You just have a Metroid on your head. Metroid, Metroid. Ah, look at that! Multiple Metroids, Metroid, Multiple Metroid. Multiple Metroids. Hell yeah. Getting a little overwhelmed, Metroid, Metroid. <laughs> so. Science me. The, the Omega Pirate is basically them taking one of their elite pirates and just pumping them up with more phase on than is, like, responsible. <laughs> Doctors say you shouldn't put this much face on into a uh, into a being. It's like when you uh, look at the at a uh, you know a, a, a bottle of pain pills, and it says don't take more than six pills every twenty four hours. They well, let's that. take twenty four <laughs> pills every six hours and see what happens. See what happens. That's yeah. th that's what they did with phase on, and it turned to the Omega Pirate. But the thing is, the Omega Pirates don't have very good chemical and you know biological makeup because it's so unstable. That's why they're so strong. Yes. But they also die really easily. You need the phase on suit to get through here, because it's just loaded with phase on. Pure phase on, and, yeah. and the bombs are supposed to slow you down. Even if you have all your E tanks, it's going to be a real bad time trying to get all the way through here. So once we uh, killed the Omega Pirate enough, I think what happened is that as his as his biological system was shutting down, the phase on system was still going very strong. This is the last uh, Chozo artifact we're supposed to get. Supposed to get. It's twelve of twelve. The Artifact of Newborn. 
That's us. That's me. That's me. That's me. I'm the newborn. I'm the newborn. I got my own artifact. That's mine. It belongs to me. See that? It says newborn. I'm the newborn. <laughs> actually, I, th I think they do adequately explain this in uh, some of the lore, actually, because if you read, the Phazon was actually fusing together with the DNA of this pirate. Right. And so as he died and was breaking down... The mutated DNA kind of got stuck on your suit. So I think what the, what happened was that the phase on that, that got into our suit was kind of like backwash, <laughs> because it's already kind of been integrated yeah. with with the, with the life form's DNA. It's like phase on it's light. It's kind of used to it. So basically, it's just holding on to one person's hand and go, oh, I guess I'll go over here then, mm -hmm. yep. and then there you go. That's how you get integrated with the suit and not you know burn yourself in the process. It's still feels like shit though. It still feels like my nerves are filled with fucking caulking syrup or something. Yeah, you ever have like a really fattening experience and your blood just feels thick? Y yeah. yeah. That's that's us all the time now. It's just ugh. I feel sluggish. But it's what's going to help us get through the, the rest of the phase on mines and uh we're really uh the only thing left to do now, now that we've stopped the Omega Pirates from doing whatever they... Yeah. Oh, stupid pirates. <laughs> do you think when uh, the cameras are off, Samus just thinks, I'm really fucking lucky that 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 actually integrated with the suit and didn't just, you know, kill me. Am I... Am I alive but, uh, right hold, now? Hold on, hold on, let me check my pulse. Clank. Because this is actually a plot point in Metroid Prime 3. Oh. If she's actually alive? You can go into something called hyper mode. It's oh. where you basically tap into the phase on that you've been collecting in your suit, uh -huh. and you unleash that into like a powerful beam. Oh, please. But if you use that beam too much, you die. You will succumb to the phase on and become another Dark Samus. Wow. Hey, don't spoil too many things. I mean, everyone knows what. <laughs> everyone knows that Dark Samus appeared in Metroid Prime 2. But how do we get there? Well, that's what we're gonna find uh, out. Yeah, so. we need to we need to finish this. We need to we need to finish this and find out. Yeah. What, so yeah, yeah. What do we even have left? We got all the missiles. Yep. We we got all the missiles. Got one more e tank. We got one more e tank, which is like towards the end. You know, don't worry. Oh, okay. Uh, we uh, got, we're we're back got here. Got the bombs. We got all the beams. We got everything. All that's left to do is just get the uh, get the chose our artifacts. Oh, fucking sweet. Yeah, we're 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 yeah. I mean, we've <laughs> we've delved the mines enough. We've got everything that we need here, and now we can just we we can we can we can get the 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 the, the chosen artifacts, move on, and cut the source of Phazon from Talon Four. Perfect. We can save a planet. We can save a planet, and then the and world. I'll and there's a the last up. D tank. Perfect. Yeah, you said it's it was good, near the it's end. Good, it's great. We're near the it's end. It's great. Wow. All right, open up door. So don't think you can be smart and uh, just cut through all of this phase on like I tried to do during practice. Oh, is this hurt? I mean, I mean you could make it if you if you came in through this door oh, I see and what just you, mean. you know make your way through the phase on. But that, yeah. oh my god, that, that security door is closed. There's no way you can make it up there yeah. anyway. So no cheekiness. Yeah, it can't be that cheeky. Can't secrets break that way there, Buster. Matter of fact, some of these uh, version differences uh, change some of the sequence breaking. Interesting. Like you, apparently, you can you can somehow grab the missile uh, uh, the missile launcher without triggering the boss fight. Well, in version 1.02, not anymore. That was fixed. That would that would be the trilogy. Interesting. Huh. I like going over revisions of games. Just makes me realize why speedrunners always choose the first version. I always noticed this uh, when I got Ocarina of Time. Oh yeah, did you have the gold cart? I had the gold cart. 1.0, baby. 1.0. Real blood, baby. Real blood. You have the chanting in there. Oh, yes. And the I, the, uh, the, the uh, stock Muslim chanting is what it is. Yeah. I actually have that. I should have that version over there somewhere. I also have the uh, Majora's Mask gold cart. Yep, I see, uh, I see a gold cart, yep. Nice. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, I think I have a silver. I must have sold my version you a long time ago. You have a gold Majora's Mask cart. But a silver Ocarina of Time cart. But I Demon. think you have 1.01. 1. Son, son of a god. Damn it. Oh, that's okay. I've always known about the chanting. It always scared me as a kid. Oh, it kind of scared me, really. <laughs> yeah, this seriously. Is, this is just terrifying for a... Uh, Majora's Mask, don't even get me started. Nine-year-old? Oh, god, yeah. As soon as I became a Deku scrub, I was like... Ah! That damn moon... That did it. That damn yeah, moon. The moon it's, did it. Like it's not even just the fact that it's a scary face or the fact that it's always following you. It's it like represents doom, death. No matter what kind of you know success, fleeting success you have, 
There it is. Always watching you. Laughing. I... Waiting. There's a couple changes I don't agree with in Majora's Mask 3D, but there is one change I absolutely love, and that's the redesign of the moon. I was playing Majora's Mask 3D, and I got to around the farm area, and uh, it was on day three, and I look up, I was like, ah! Okay. Oh, jeez. It got close. I gotta get through Majora's Mask 3D. Me too. There are some changes for the good. I mean, I like, I like my 3DS. I like playing in 3D. Me too. That's something that no other console can do. Literally no other console can do that. Unless if I get a special TV and special glasses. And I'm not fucking doing that. Did I ever tell you that the entire time I worked at GameStop, we were trying to sell a 3D TV? The glassesless free 3D TV. Tried our damnedest to get rid of that stupid thing. The did, 3D was the passing fad. Didn't happen, did it? No! Well, let me tell you all about it. <laughs> of, of course it didn't happen. Nobody bought it. When I started there, it was still $400. When I quit there, it was down to $200. <laughs> and I think we ev it eventually got shipped away to a different store that might have been able to sell it. I was about to say, oh, I saw it last week. It's about 10 now. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they're giving me $200 to take the TV. <laughs> but, you know, glassless 3D, I don't know. I mean, mm. I already have 4K. Well, 4K is the new innovation and actually not a fad. This is just like better a better viewing experience, in my opinion. I don't think we need 8K, though. AK is going a little much. It, that's that's too far. Like, get a good, a very good monitor for 8K, and see what you can do in Doom Eternal. We have a hard time that's getting into it. 4K. What makes you think we're 8K ready? For 16K is probably next, dude. It's like we like we get we have all these all these games and you know the these consoles that say oh it can run 8K but oh the games well they don't really run they, yeah they, they, they can they can kind of run 4K mm -hmm. but really they they run better at 1440p or something yeah mm -hmm. yeah it's not really not really 4K you have the capability of 8K don't play it in 8K though because the game will run like garbage but if I play it in 4K it runs fine right oh yeah it runs well, then I'll just play it I'll just play it at 4K then absolutely delicious frame rate. And pixels. Look at them pixels. I mean, I'm a guy who can, who can play GameCube games and go, wow, this still looks amazing. It still does! I mean, look at it! It's, it's, it's a beautiful! Metroid Prime still looks awesome! And it has the details you expect from games nowadays that don't exactly happen nowadays. <laughs> it's because they had dedicated artists and engineers working on this. So do you think it's deadlines? Yes, I do! Deadlines are the new blood. That's what's kind of killing off the creativity of some games. Yeah, I'd, I'd say so. It's also crunch. Crunch doesn't help. See, to me, I think crunch is just an, it's an inevitability of, of capitalism. No matter no matter where you work, there's going to be crunch for something. Yeah, unfortunately. Because because you know it's it's just you know hey let's get as much as we can done you know it's 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 a last ditch thing. It's like you know run to the home stretch. You don't do crunch for like it happens. You don't do it for often though. But what some game companies do is they just have crunch be the norm all the time. All the time. Get you that can't, game you out. You can't do that. You cannot do that. Like you know, m making a game is like running a race. You you uh you keep a good pace at the start. You know you don't you don't, don't exactly walk. And you sprint right at the end. You sprint at the end. That's the crunch time. You can't sprint the whole time, otherwise you're gonna get tired halfway through. And then you'll hate life, and you'll hate the company you work for. And the and... game's gonna stink, mm -hmm. and it's gonna be broken. See, that's why I'm okay with Breath of the Wild 2 taking as long as it has. Can you imagine trying to come up with every conceivable scenario that you can do in that game and making sure it works? They also had the system kind of in place already. They had to reinvent the, like from the ground up for Breath of the Wild 1. That's true. For 2, they, they at least have some foundations. Well, see, that's, that's the thing. I just saw a clip floating around on Twitter of something that somebody just learned about Breath of the Wild in the year 2022. That game came out five years ago, and we're still finding out amazing things you can do in Breath of the Wild. Because they, they refine the gameplay so much. Oh, well, also, they can't think of every single paradigm. Like, they gave you the mechanics, it works, but nobody ever thought to do it. See, I think that people were, like, uh, trying to, you know, like, in, in testing, they were finding, um, like... Possibilities. Yep. Yeah, well, not just possibilities, but, like, di di different solutions for puzzles Yeah. than, than was intended. And the devs were like, hey, d uh, oh, huh. well, okay. Well, okay, you can do it that way, yeah, sure. And I think they, they, uh, leaned on that sort of free creativity. 
That openness. Yeah. Can I just say what that mechanic was that somebody found? What was it? Having an enemy throw a boomerang at you, doing a backflip, catching it in midair, and then throwing it back at them. That's fucking hysterical. That's like some fucking John Wick shit. Exactly! I was like, you just found that? The game still surprises me to this day. And, you know, I'm still going to go with the argument. It's not my favorite Zelda game, but it is one of my favorite games to play just because of all the fun shit you can do. It's hilarious. Breath of the Wild's great. Go play. <laughs> it's still $60 because Nintendo doesn't know about reducing prices. I got it for 40 <laughs> Actually, I'm really glad because, I because got... Because Walmart knows about reducing prices. Oh, thank God. Actually, I'm really happy that I got my Wii U version of Breath of the Wild when I did. Otherwise, uh, I would never get it. Also, I started with the Switch version. Day one, baby. I got the Wii U version day one. And you still had a blast. Oh, it... It's, I, it's, 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 right, mind, it's mind-blowing! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you actually pulling my leg? Are you pulling, like, like, you, you, your, your fingers are around my ankle, you are, you, you're pulling it. You're actually pulling nah, it. I don't I wouldn't believe do that this. To you. I wouldn't do that to you. So there's an artifact in there, just oh, fire shoot. a missile, and you, you just kind of make your way up there. No Wait, like a regular it. missile? Yeah, don't, uh, maybe a super bullet, you know, just, it's, it's in there. Just shoot the thing. Got it. By the way, I did notice that the game was going like, hey, if you find the artifacts, you should come back here. They give you hints. Uh, See, um, that's right. at, at, at the Chozo Artifact Temple, you, it, you scan the statues, they give you little hints as to where they are. And we took a... But, and, and if you get enough of the Chozo artifacts, they give you more hints as to where the rest are. But we know, where, we know where they all are, so there's no need. Yes, you do. I have no idea where these are. It's a surprise every time. Well, I mean, there was one there, so... I, d I did not expect that, because we've been through this area like 2,000 times. That's not even the last one we're getting. We have another oh, damn. artifact to get. Oh, damn. And he's taking me back to where I want to go. Oh, damn. These things are actually helpful. Oh, my God. What are the odds? What a, what a great design. Wow. <laughs> what great design. Actually, not really. Those are really annoying enemies. Hey, I hate those things. <laughs> they are bad. They are awful. They make me cry. So what do you think the new gimmick du jour is going to be for Metroid Prime 4? I don't know. It's not out yet. Well, I mean... Tick some maybe, sort of guess. Maybe it'll be released. That could be a nice gimmick. Actually, that would be a great gimmick. It, it being released and available and in my hands and in my Switch and, and I've already played about 45% of it. That's a great gimmick. I hope they put that in the game. <laughs> it'll come out. No worries. <laughs> Hasn't been canceled yet. Yeah. Dude. I mean, it's been canceled once. They, they, keep, they keep trying to, to to make Metroid games without Retro Studios and it just doesn't work. It's not working. Nintendo cannot make an in-home Metroid. Game. I mean, they do have a new uh, sexy side girlfriend called Mercury Steam, who's uh, pretty good at making Metroid games. Well, yeah, but they had to, they had to beg for it. <laughs> yeah. Please, we'll pay you. It's like, check it out. We made this Castlevania game. It's a Metro Castlevania game that we made. Mm -hmm. Check it out. Uh huh. We'd love to make a Metroid game with this, but it's Castlevania. If you hey you Metroid, uh, hey check it out, check uh, it out. And hey guy, hey oh Nintendo, you're here. Great, 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 great. Look, 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 yeah, look. Yeah. Listen, listen, listen. All right, we have, we've been making a Metroid Fusion remake. Check it out, Metroid Fusion yeah. remake. Yeah. We want to like we, we, we hear you. We want to bring this darkness to like the Metroid. We want to bring mm -hmm. like, we want to bring Metroid back. We can yeah, do Metroid. Yeah, yeah. We can do Metroid. D Metroid two. No problem, you got it. We'll yeah, make a Metroid got, 2, no problem. It, yeah, and then, and then they did Metroid 2, they did Metroid 2 so well, it's like, well... I think you got what it takes. Thank you for the exam, Nintendo-san. It's Appreciate time it. to fill you with dread. Oh, sir, I... Oh, thank you, sir! Oh, yes. yeah, thank, oh, thank you, thank you! Oh. oh, that's so great! Thank you very much! Actually, what would be kind of funny is if... Metroid 6 somehow magically came out before Metroid Prime 4. <laughs> It'd be the new Bayonetta 3. It's never coming out. It's never coming out. Oh, hey, a trailer? That must mean it's almost done, right? Half a year passes. Nope, here's another trailer. Okay, cool. Another half a year passes. But the fact that they, that they tried to have Bandai Namco make Metroid Prime 4, was that it? Uh, no, that was straight up Nintendo trying to make Metroid Prime 4. I thought they had somebody helping with them, and they were like, this isn't working out, so you're not doing it. I thought it was, I thought it was Bandai Namco working That out. was in-house Nintendo trying to make Metroid, and since they have no idea what it they're did, doing... It, it didn't work. They said, so, uh, we called... We called Retro back, and, uh, they finally answered our call. 
Well, they've been making stuff for him, so, I mean... That's true. Well, everybody thought Retro was working on a F-Zero after Donkey Kong. I think they were at one point, because that got canned. Hey, they can cancel F-Zero as many times as they want to, as long as I get Metroid Prime 4. How do you... I, I want to see the giddy look on the head of Retro Studios' face when they say, Yeah, so we tried Metroid Prime 4, we failed. Can you take it back? And then he just goes... Alright, uh, yeah. See, I don't think it was more like that. I think Nintendo realized that they were trying to make a game that everybody wants, but they won't be able to deliver because it's just not up to par. Because, you know, they already wrote, they, they, they wrote out Samus in the first draft, and that was already like, no, 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 no. <laughs> we're, we're that's, that's not how this works. Alright. And they just can't get it to work, and they've been trying to make the gunplay work, but, you know, they try to make the, the clicky things. We have the second stick. What are we supposed to do with that? I don't know. I don't play shooters. Fucking. I t well. <sighs> Here's an artifact. So they walk over to Retro Studios, you knock on the door, you know. yes. Come in! Come in. The president of, of, of Retro just kinda, you know, puts his... Puts his chin on his hand and says, Yes. And meekly they say, well... <laughs> been trying to make a new Metroid Prime... Ah, uh, yes! Mm -hmm. Trying and failing, I see. Yeah, how'd that go? No one's gonna want this. <laughs> Garbage. It's 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 kind of laughable there. Uh, uh, it's it, like yeah. What are, what are you guys thinking? We were thinking that no, <laughs> you weren't thinking. That's just it. You weren't thinking. So, come to bother us. We're working on an F Zero here because you know, hey, racing games are actually pretty cool and fun to do when you actually make them, especially so, when they're super fast like right. the one we're making. Right. Yeah. So what do you got? Oh, Metroid Prime Four. Oh, I thought. Oh, I, th I thought you guys had it. You guys had other M. It looked like you guys had it under control. But what? You know, a whole view. Federation Force. Yeah, that was a great one. Good job, guys. Let me guess. They took on Samus in the first draft, right? <laughs> Some stooges lying behind him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, we deserve that ridicule. Can you please just save Metroid Prime 4? Hey, hey, I bet they don't even know how to use the second stick. Hey, what do you think the second stick is used for? <sighs> Swapping weapons? <laughs> all right, guys. All right, oh. guys. Uh, lay off. Oh, of you, them. Lay you off got of you them. got you. Oh, man. It's all right. It's all right. With all due respect, sir, what the fuck? <laughs> holy shit! Holy, look at this draft. Holy shit! How do you, how do you even wake up in the morning? Okay. <laughs> She's can can wow. you can you at least do us one favor, Retro? Keep the missile barrage. <laughs> Keep it. We were worried you guys would cut that. <laughs> God, from the sounds of it, Nintendo's almost as incompetent as the Space Pirates. <sighs> when it comes to making a Metroid game. <laughs> you can, oh, yeah, you guys can make a Mario game, no problem. Yeah, but no problem. It's yeah. a Metroid game. It's Metroid. Sci-fi? Shooting? You guys aren't good with Metroid, that. Metroid, Metroid! I've seen Star Fox, I've seen, I've seen uh, F-Zero, I've seen uh. Metroid. You guys can't do dark sci-fi well. It doesn't happen very well. But we, look, we remade Star Fox on the Wii U. Look how good it did. D good Ooh, it did! Joe, ho, zero. Zero. Mm -hmm. Zero. Yeah, zero out zero. of ten. Zero. Zero. That's just all I get when I think of Star Fox Zero. It's just zero. Zero. Zero uh, fun. Zero, zero joy. But, but we thought zero it, happy memories. We thought if we remade 64 on the Wii U, people would like it. But you already made 64 on the 3DS and everybody loved that! So why'd you do it on the Wii U and made it shitty? Uh, well... You know, when you say it out, out loud, it, it does sound really stupid. God, Retro has some balls talking to their... Corporate Master Overlords about this. I shouldn't say that. They're both independent companies. They can laugh at one another. I think I think Retro is second party. Yes. They are... Like, HAL is technically second party, too, because they make games not for uh, Nintendo all the time. Yeah, they make it for others. But what else has Retro made for other consoles? Or have they made PC games lately? See, not much. They've mostly just been doing right. Mario Kart stages and uh, some help on... Uh, no, no, some other games, but uh, mostly Donkey Kong Country too. Actually, if they were helping out with the Mario Kart stages, like the recent re-releases, that makes a lot of sense. I think I think they helped out a bit on Smash too. A lot, a lot of companies had their oh hands in the cookie jar for that. Yeah, one. everybody had their hands in there. Yeah. Sheesh. Well, I think we've run out of things to talk about. Capcom's great. 
Okay, okay. One more thing to talk about. Here is my dissertation on why Capcom is the worst company ever made. Circa 2002. I might have to write that paper, honestly. I'm so glad we're in a good stage of Capcom right now. When Capcom goes through a, through a bad phase, it's not good. It's like a nasty breakup that never ends. Like, the last good phase that Capcom was in was, like, from... I'd say 2000... 2004 to 2000, like, 10, maybe. Like, when we were talking about... But then, like, but then when, we, when they got to, like, Street Fighter Cross Tekken, that's when they started having a really bad time. On-disc DLC, just cut, cutting endings off of games, bad stuff all around. Re-releases not too far after the initial one. When we were talking about re-releases on games, I was just about to say, Hey, anybody else remember Marvel vs. Capcom 3 <laughs> and the re-release happening the same year? Really? That, yeah. Ulti Ultimate was the same year? Same year. Wow. Seven months after the first one came out. That's why people were so pissed. Jeez. I think Capcom is in its... It, like, they got their good phase back when Resi 7 came out. Because they got their new engine, they got a new, like, renewed sense of vigor. They've been, they've been doing great ever since. Street Fighter V is now an actually viable, you know, fighting game. Oh, thank God. Everybody hated that game when it first came out. Including the developers. So now we got Street Fighter V Champion Edition. That's the best one. Don't at me. <laughs> so next time we're finishing up the game, I hear. Next time on Metroid Prime, we're getting the rest of the Chozo artifacts and moving on to the final part of the just, game. We're just, gonna save just, the world! Just, we're gonna save the universe! Let's do it! See you next time! Just,